So today we're going to make some Korean style baby back ribs and Korean fried cauliflower. Super easy recipe. We actually start by grating a pear and we slather that on top of the ribs and then with a little rice wine vinegar and this serves to start tenderizing the meat. In the meantime, we'll make the marinade that the ribs will sit in. So we start by peeling half an onion and chopping it up. Uh, you can kind of see this little technique I use where cut half, cut it down the middle, skin comes off, chop it up, throw it in the bowl, a couple cloves of garlic, and you can just see how fast I am. Well, I sped up the video. Then we put in some brown sugar. Yes, this was old brown sugar that got all clumpy, but it was good anyways. Quite a bit of soy sauce, about half a cup of soy sauce. So we just shake and shake and shake. Ah, oh, there we go. Then we add in two tablespoons of sesame oil. This is just plain sesame oil, but you could use hot chili oil if you like. Then we put in some great fresh grated ginger. Give that a stir, just to make sure all the sugars dissolved in the solution. And then I thought, let's do some heat, so I put in some sriracha. Then I thought this was a little too clumpy, so I put it in the blender for a couple quick pulses. Now with this mixture, we just poured it on top of the ribs and let it sit, put it in the refrigerator four hours. In the meantime, I got the big green egg fired up to 350 degrees and I put them bone side down to start with. After it reached 185, I put the remaining marinade that I further pureed on top of the ribs and this is going to get all nice and caramelized. Oh, that was such a good marinade. And now we're going to peel some more ginger for our cauliflower dipping sauce. And I love this spoon technique. This is a great way to get your, the skin off that ginger. More fresh grated ginger. Into a bowl we're doing a half a cup of chili garlic sauce. Another quarter cup, a little smidge more than a quarter cup of soy sauce. There we go. Then we're going to put in two tablespoons of honey. If you didn't notice, I eyeball everything. It'll all work out. It's just cooking. Uh, put in two tablespoons of light brown sugar. Same clumpy stuff as before. And the juice of one lime wedge. That fresh grated ginger. Give it a quick whisk. And we're whisking. Now we're going to check on our ribs. They've gotten to 195 internal temp. I pulled them off, tent them with tin foil, and let them rest. In the meantime, I'm going to just carve up this head of cauliflower for our fried cauliflower. Vegetable excitement, just amazing to watch. And now we're going to make this real simple batter, a uh, half a cup of cornstarch, without being messy, half a cup of Grizzly Light Lager from Big Sky Brewing. So we got some bubbles in our batter, a little more beer. Now, I was supposed to use one egg white. So here I am separating out the egg white and... Pretty soon I say, ah, the hell with it. Let's just use the whole egg. Why waste that yolk? So give that a quick whisk until you have a, a thinnish batter. And there we go. So you just dump your cauliflower into the batter, put it into boiling oil until it turns golden brown. And here's the real trick. Pull it out of that boiling oil, put it in hot into your dipping sauce, give them a quick swirl, and then put them on a plate. Uh, it's amazing that your coating will be crispy to the hit with the hot oil. It's really kind of a neat way to do it. All 
right, another batch of cauliflower going in. I know it's just exciting watching cauliflower fry up. Well, it's exciting for me at least. And there's the finished product. So these are my Korean style baby back ribs with the Korean fried cauliflower with a little dipping sauce. And I had an arrogant bastard to go along with my dinner. Hope you like this recipe. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy it.